Hey guys, um, as promised, uh, we wanted to discuss how to solve for the back block of the die I5 or I4 um, adjuster block on the back of the mask here. Well, I um, haven't quite figured it out yet, but let's get started on trying to. Please stand by. Stand by for a transmission from the fringe. Okay. Now, I still have my handy dandy little fake head that I used for my Batman mask. Um, so today we're just going to pop the Batman mask off. And put the die I5 on. So, alright, there goes Batman. <clears throat> and here comes the die. Okay. Make sure that he's all comfy. Do our little adjustment thing. Okay. Now, let's think. I have an idea. If I were to place this back here, I don't think I'm going to have enough Velcro to um, let's just get this nice and close here. I don't think I'm going to have enough Velcro. So it occurs to me that why don't I go vertical? All right, flatten that guy out. Plenty of Velcro, plenty of Velcro. He's still in the right orientation. Okay. And here's the really cool part. So we've got our T, we've got one of our straps here, right? And like the back, if I were to show you, we have the back and we have the front. So a T has to go to two places, right? You have the T in the back and you have the T in the front, okay? And three straps between them, okay? The one in the back has the Velcro. The one in the front is just a collector. But I think I can make use of this. It occurs to me that even though if I put this thing on the vertical, right? If I put this thing here like this. Uh, the straps are in the way, you really can't see it. Okay. See the curvature will still hug my head, okay? That's great. It's not flattening out, it's not gonna go somewhere else. I've got plenty of Velcro coverage for the X-Fog. It's not gonna fall off my head. Um, but I'm worried about flappage. Okay, I'm worried about this thing, even though it may be bolted down here in the shell, like I've talked about before, I may, it may flap. And this is where the cool idea comes in. What if I take the front piece, and I don't know if you can see it, but you see this little hole right here? That says to me it's a bolt. What I'll have is, I'll still have a strap here, but it's adjustable. So let's get started.
basically what I do is I'll just take the tubes in my fingers when I put the goggles on. Okay. Place them in the spaces by the temples. Now I've cut these to length already. I've already done trial and error to make sure that these things are the right length for me. And that on she goes. Now, if you can see, there's a little tube by my temple here, and another one on the other side, right? So there he is. I'll do a little rotation here. Ooh, yeah. See, I'm not worried about not having complete coverage with the Velcro. I mean, holy smoke, that thing is a tight fit. Um, and so there we are. Now, to show you what I did, there's the bolts. I wish this thing would focus a little bit better than this. Countersunk on the, on the uh, pads there. And then there's the front bolt there. There's no nut on the inside of that because this particular screw is exactly the right size to actually thread into the plastic. So it was a lot easier than I thought. Tubes in the fingers, right? Place in the temples, there and there. Mask on. That's it. All set. I can't even see the tubes. You can. But I've got them uh, cut to the point where it's actually like, do I put it on and, uh oh, did I miss? And every time I've done it, the tubes are in the right spot. So, that's it. See you on the field, guys.